Hello everyone, this is Nightmare, and in this video, I'm showing you how to install Undertale Red and Yellow to your computer. So, to begin, first you want to go to this Game Jolt page, which is actually listed in this video's description, just to make things simple, and you just want to click this download button. So, let's just download the mod real quick. Alright, now that we have the mod, we can click here and view the file. So you want to have like WinRAR or I think it's called 7-zip or something. Some kind of program that can open these kinds of files. And you want to extract this somewhere. But first, before we do that, let's just go to the Undertales files. So let's go to Steam. And um, the way I like to do this, it's just a simple way of doing it, is right-clicking the game. And you want to go Manage and br Browse Local Files. There we go. So we're in Undertale's files. And now, quite simply, this is the way I like to do it. You know, there's other ways to do this, but we just want to extract the Undertale red and yellow files into Undertale's files. So I don't know if I'm explaining this in the best way, but I'm trying my best. But basically what I'm doing here is just highlighting all these files and just dragging them directly into Undertale's original install files. Okay. So we've got everything here, and now we want to click doubtpatcher.exe. So let's click that, and then we've got original file, x doubt patch. So let's click this button here, and so once we have this open, we want to select data.win, the little blue heart. Actually, I don't know if it'll look like that on your screen, but if it doesn't, just click this regardless. And then we want to click this, and we've got a few options here. But if you just have base Undertale, what you want to do is Undertale to Undertale Red Yellow. So basically, Undertale V1.0.8 to Undertale Red Yellow V2.02. So let's click that. And just click the button that says Apply Patch. Patch successfully applied. Hopefully this comes up for you. And once that, done, once that is done, we scroll down to the .exe file and we just open the game. And hopefully, we should have installed from Let's just see for ourselves real quick. Yep, fresh install. So we just quickly punch in our name. It should have installed properly. Yep, as you walk through the, the different dialogue, and as you can see here, there's Clover and Clover. So hopefully this install guide works for you, and you can enjoy the mod. That's about it. 